We take a report from Institute of Intellectual Property for October 2021. And today we will discuss a case concerned to the Art Apostle International BV versus Stixling Pictorite. And uh, we will see how the case is going. This request for preliminary rulings concern to the proceeding between Art Apostle International BV or Poster and Stichting Pistorite, Pistorite regarding a possible infringement by a poster for copyrights protected by Pistorite resulting from transfer of image, a protected work from a paper poster to a painter canvas and the say of the image on that new medium. So here we will see the legal contest. So legal contest from the WIPO, Article 6 of the WIPO Copyright Treaty or entitled the right of distribution. The Berne Convention, the right adaptation, and then the EU law. Article two, a directive entitled reproduction right. This one follow. Member states shall provide for the exclusive rights to authorize or prohibit direct or indirect temporary or permanent reproduction by any means and in any form in whole or in part for author of their work. So you can see here the reproduction rights much more wider than what we can think. What about the right of distribution? The distribution rights member states shall provide for author in respect of the original of their work or of copy thereof. The exclusive right to authorize and prohibit any form of distribution to the public by say or otherwise. The distribution rights shall not be adjusted within community in respect of the original of copy of the work, except where the first say or other transfer of ownership in community of that object were made by the right holder or with his consent. What about the publication of literary or scientific or artistic work? So include the publication of a reproduction of work in full or in part. And so here is the three minority rulings. And then we go into see the consideration of the court. The jurisdiction of the court in the procedure laid down in Article 267 TFEU is confined to considering provision of EU law only and it has no jurisdiction to rule the compatibility of national law, including the case law member state. In those circumstances, the question referred which should be considered together must be understood to mean that the referring court is asking, in essence, whether the rules of exhaustion of the distribution rights set out in Article 4 apply in a situation where a reproduction of protected work after having been marketed in the European Union with a copyright holder consent has undergone an alteration of its medium, such as the transfer of that reproduction from a newspaper, poster to a canvas, and its place on markets again in its new form. As a preliminary matter, it should be noted that fit to write is of the view that only in the significant alteration undergone by the poster in the process of transfer onto the canvases of reproduction of protected works. Those canvases are adaptation of those work which are not covered by the distribution right. It's submit that the adaptation right in the field of copyright is not harmonized in the EU law, but is governed by Article 12 of the Berne Convention. 
It should therefore be assessed whether the fact at issue in a main proceeding for within the scope of Directive 2001-29. With regard to the adaptation right, it is true that Article 12 of the Berne Convention confer on authors of literary or artistic work an exclusive right of authorizing adaptation, arrangement, and other alteration of their works, and that there is no equivalent, provides his vision in Directive 2001. However, and without having to interpret the concept of adaptation within the meaning of Article 12, it is sufficient to state that both the paper, poster, and the canvas stand to contain the image of protected artists. Work thus for within the scope Article 4 of Directive 2001, the scope of a protected work market within the European Union. That provision recognized the exclusive right of authors in respect of the original of their works or of copy delf. To authorize or prohibit any form of distribution to policy by say otherwise, it must therefore be held that the fact at issue in the main proceeding for within the scope of Article 4 of Directive 2001. With regard to the condition application of the social rules, it follows from Article 4 of directive that the distribution right is not the drastic in respect of the original copy of a work, except where the per se or other transfer of ownership in the European Union of that object is made by the right holder or with his consent. Moreover, according to the case law of the court, Article 4 does not leave is open to member states to provide an adjustment rule other than set out in that provision. To the extent that, as follows from Recital 31 of the Directive, differences in the national law governing exhaustion of right of distribution are likely to affect directly to smooth functioning of the internal market. Taking the wording of the article, at the basic, the court found that for the distribution right to be exhausted, two conditions must be fulfilled. First, the original of work or copy thereof must have been placed on the market by the right holder or with his consent. And second, they must have been placed on the market in the European Union. In the case in a man proceeding, it is undisputed that poster reproducing book or famous painter, which is covered by the right holder of which are represented by pistol right, have been placed on the market in the EEA with consent of those right holders. However, the party in the main proceeding uh, disagreement first as to whether a chosen of distribution right cover the tangible object into which uh, work or its copy is incorporated or the author on intellectual creation and secondly, as to whether the alteration of the medium and undertaken by a poster has an impact of uh, exhaustion of the exclusive distribution right. With regard first to the purpose of the distribution right article 4 of directive referred to the first say or on the right of transfer ownership of that object. In addition, according to recital 28 of directive, copyright protection under that directive include the exclusive right to control distribution of work incorporated in a tangible article. According to that recital, the first say in the European Union of original of a work or copy thereof by the right holder or with his consent is just the right to control the say of that object in the European Union. Similarly, according to set of cases of a court, literary and artistic work may be the subject of commercial exploitation, whether by way of public performance 
or of the reproduction and marketing of recording mic of them. It follows from the foregoing consideration that EU legislature are using the term tangible article and that object which to give auto control over the initial market thing in the European Union of each tangible object incorporating their intellectual creation. That fighting at European Commission correctly states is supported by international law and in particular by the WIPO copyright treaty in the light of which directive must be interpreted as far as possible. And see many cases, Lars and Deacon, Peak, Club Campbell, Football Association, Premier League and Order, and Donor. Article 6 of that treaty provides that author of literary or an artistic work are to enjoy the exclusive right of authorizing the marketing being available to the public of the original and copy of their work through sale or other transfer of ownership. In that regard, the significance of term copy was explained by the contracting party by an agreed statement concerning Article 6 and 7 of treaty adopted by diplomatic conference. According to that statement, the expression of copy and original copy being subject to the right of distribution and the right of rental under the set of article refers exclusively to fixed copy that can be put into circulation as tangible object. Accordingly, it should be found that exhaustion of the distribution right applies to the tangible object into which a protected work or its copy is incorporated if it had been placed onto the market with the copyright holder consent. In the second place, this must be assessed whether the fact that the object which were marketed with the copyright holder consent has undergone subsequent alteration to its physical medium has an impact on absorption of distribution right within the meaning of Article 4 of the Directive. In the case in a man proceeding, the alteration carry out consists in a transfer of image of an artistic work from a paper poster onto a painter canvas. By means of the process described in paragraph 15 of this judgment, resulting in the replacement of a paper medium by a canvas, it follows from the observation of the party in a man proceeding that technique increases the durability of the reproduction improve the quality of the image in comparison with the poster and provide a result closer to the original of work. In that regard, it must be held that at the French government correctly argue. A replacement of the medium that were carried out in a case in a man city result in the creation of a new project incorporating the image of protected work, whereas the poster itself ceases to exist, such as alteration of a copy of a protected work, which provide a result closer to the original, is actually sufficient to constitute a new reproduction of that work within the meaning of Article 2 directive, which is covered by the exclusive right of the author and require his authorization. Or poster nevertheless maintain that a transfer onto canvas cannot be categorized as reduction on the ground as there is no multiplication or copy of protected works in the image. This transfer no longer appear on a poster. It is explained that the ink were which we produce the work in our authors and that the work itself may not affect in any way. That argument cannot be accepted. The fact that ink is set during the transfer cannot affect fighting that the image medium has been altered. What is important is whether the altered object itself, taken as a whole, is physically the object were placed onto the market with consent of the right holder 
that does not appear to be the case in an dispute in a main proceeding. Consequently, the consent of a copyright holder does not cover the distribution of an object in corroborating his work if that object has been altered after its initial marketing in such a way that it constitutes a new reproduction of that work. In such an event, the distribution right of such an object is exhausted upon the first say or transfer the ownership of that new object with the consent of the right holder. That interpretation is supported by the principal objective of directive. According to recital 910 of that directive, it should establish a high level of protection of inter alia author, allow them to obtain an appropriate reward for the use of their work. However, it follows from the argument advanced before the court by party in a main proceeding that a copyright holder does not consent to the distribution of canvas transfer, at least not expressly. According to applying the rule of exhaustion of the distribution right, would deprive those right holder of the possibility of prohibiting those objects from being distributed or in the event of distribution of requiring appropriate reward for the commercial exploitation of their work. In that regard, the court has already held that in order to be appropriated, should remuneration must be reasonable in relation to the economic value and exploitation of protected work. As regards canvas transfer, the party in main proceeding acknowledged that their economic value significant exceed that of poster. Having regard to all the foregoing consideration, the answer to the question asked in Article 4 must be interpreted as meaning that the rule of exhaustion of distribution right set out in Article 4, Directive 1001 does not apply in a situation where the reproduction of protected work after having uh, been marketed in the European Union with a copyright holder consent has undergone an alteration of its medium, such as the transfer of that reproduction from a paper poster onto a canvas and display on the market again in this new form. So on that world, the court hereby rules. Article 4 of the directive on the harmonization of certain aspects of copyright and related rights in the information society must be interpreted as meaning that rules of exhaustion of distribution rights set out in Article 4 does not apply in a situation where a reproduction of protected work after having been marketed in a European Union with a copyright holder consent has undergone an alteration of its medium, such as a transfer of that reproduction from a paper poster onto a canvas, and is placed on the market again in its new form. That's the case. We take you a report from Institute of Intellectual Property for October 2021. Thank you. We'll see you again.